So we've just finished covering simple harmonic motion with the level three class, and one of my favorite demos to talk about damping is this uh, pendulum demonstration. So I got this bit of plastic um, that has a, a lovely circular hole in it that nicely fits a neodymium magnet. I've also got a, um, a non-magnetic metal that you can just use a little Velcro strap to lock in place around the pendulum if you want to compare magnetic versus non-magnetic. Essentially, um, if you wanted to achieve the same demonstration with, uh, without having that bit of uh, plastic, um, you could achieve the same just by taking a meter stick, drilling a hole through one end to allow it to swing, and then use masking tape to tape the magnet to one end, and you could set up the same sort of principle really easily. So, pop that on there, and then I would demonstrate to students um, just that basic oscillating nature, and then to discuss damping, we can put in two blocks of metal and position them either side of the magnet. Let the pendulum swing, and then we can experiment with moving the metal blocks closer. And then we should see the effect of damping quite noticeably there. And then we'd normally try and move them in and see if we could get critical damping. Not bad there. Okay, so that's a little demonstration of damping. Uh, it's a nice one for students to be able to play with. Um, sourcing the blocks of metal might be a little bit tricky, um, but you can often get those from, um, I've found some useful pieces of metal in um, building resupply shops, so um, you know, recycling building materials shops. Um, sometimes found some there, and scrapyards might be another place that you could source some metal from if you don't have some in the department. Thank you.